G'day guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Generation 1 foraging wheel. You can get these on our website. Now this is the actual wheel part. This is the attachment that goes onto the cage. It has a little screw here, you have to screw it through the bars. And then when it sits on there, you attach it there and then clip it down. But you can leave this part in the cage all the time, as long as your bird isn't super destructive. I usually just leave it in, it's not too bad. But the wheel part um, has a little nut on the back here that you do up to tighten it, and then the wheel sort of spins. It has a little knob there as well. But I fill this up with a heap of different ingredients. You can use it for dry or wet ingredients. So I'm gonna be putting a few different ingredients into the wheel today. We got some of the chop that we do here in store. Also some of the raw for birds fruit and nut. That's so luxe, that stuff. Uh, some parrot popcorn. Our kitty really loves the parrot popcorn and some of the soaking blend. Look at that, looks amazing. Um, so it's good because you've got little compartments, compartments so you can put um, stuff in each one. Uh, and it just helps slow him, uh, my bird down because he does um, tend to waste too much if I just put it into a bowl. So it just slows him down, gives him a little bit more chance to eat the food and then also makes it fun for him as well. And there's no wrong way um, to do this. Everyone does it completely different. Um, yeah, just put a little bit in there. Some of the fruit and nut, some of the popcorn. So this popcorn is actually flavored with uh, cayenne pepper, uh, spinach, and then also beetroot. Uh, and just a few pieces of those. Um, but yeah, check it out. How good does that look? Now it's super simple. Now I did take off this backing part so I could show you that. So I'm gonna put that back onto the cage. So we'll put the lid on, like I said, on the back here, there is a little spot for a bolt, nut, sorry. We'll do that up a little bit. And then on the flip side, I just use a butter knife to tighten it up. You can use a screwdriver if you like. Uh, but not super tight, but tight enough that they're not gonna get it off. And there is the wheel. We're gonna attach it to the plate that I put inside the cage. So this is the plate that we've attached to the inside of the cage. There's a little hook down here. Uh, and all we need to do is just attach the wheel to it, clip it down at the bottom, and there we go. So you'll see he'll spin that wheel to get the treats out. Like I said, it just helps slow him down, keeps him busy, makes him work for his food. He absolutely loves this wheel. This is a Generation 1. There is a Gen 2 as well that has a larger opening that you can use for larger birds like macaws. Now with any foraging toy, it's really important that you take it out once it's empty. So the next time you put it in, it's gonna be really interesting and exciting for them. Uh, and they're gonna get a lot more benefit out of it. These toys are super strong. They seem like plastic, but it's actually a polymer plastic. So it lasts a really long time, easy to clean. You can check them out online.